Hello everyone, I am the Crusher Hero and welcome back to another video. Today I am redoing my second ever video which was a tutorial on how to make flying machines in Minecraft. Now this is going to be much more brief and to the point, so let's begin. So we start first by showing off what the elevator can do. So if we just press this button here, you see we can go up and then there's another button here which we can use to go down. Now in today's video, there's going to be two parts. First, I'm going to show you how this works, and then I'm going to show you the reasons behind it, how it works. So first, let's take a look at how it works. Over here, you can see we have the model of the flying machine. This is what I use for that elevator. Now, it can be either honey blocks or slime blocks. Just remember to alternate when you build out. So if I quickly build this here, you want to have two slime blocks on top of each other, then an observer facing down, a piston facing up off of that, then four more slime blocks like this, a piston facing down, and an observer facing out. That is it. That's all you need to know. And then you can just place your blocks right on top. And that's the whole elevator. All I did was I compiled it and I put four of them right here. And then once I press that button, it launches off. If you see here, I can click this and it goes up, and then if I activated these observers, it would go down. Now let's take a look at the reason behind it. For all of you guys that are curious about this, this observer being powered, powers this piston, which pushes these blocks, lifting this observer. When this observer notices its move, it powers this piston, pulling up these blocks. Then this one notices it's moved, and it keeps going until it hits a solid block that it can't go past. So that's the reasoning behind that. Now, you, if you build this in your world, you're going to want to make a system so you can retrieve it and send it up. So here I have the button powering the block. Then after it powers the block, it hits the redstone dust, which is noticed by these three observers, which shoots it down to this redstone because the observer is powering the redstone here. And then this repeater is going through the block. And if we look here to this redstone dust, which then the observer notices. Now there's some easier ways to do this, but this is just one of the many. Also, there's a button behind this block, and the same idea happens here, except for the bottom row of observers. So you can see that this is a really simple design, and you can build it in your Minecraft world. Now I hope you enjoyed and understood all the concepts, and if you didn't, comment down below and I will let you know and answer any of the questions you may have. I will also leave a world download in the description down below, just so that you can play around in this world if you want to learn anything else. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, I am the Crusher Hero, and goodbye!